Hello world, this is the new Mochica X4. Today we are going to explain how the sequencer section works. The new sequencer section has a high contrast display and 8 rotary encoders with push buttons. When you push the first button, you control the steps 1 to 8. When you push the second button, you control the steps 9 to 16. When you push the third button, you can turn on and off each step. You turn on a step, moving the encoder to the right and turn it off, moving the encoder to the left. You can listen, pushing the play button. Pushing the fourth button, you can control the pitch of each step. When you move the encoder only one detent, the display shows the actual pitch for that step. If you move the encoder more than one detent, you start changing the pitch for that step. When you push the repeat button, you can control the number of repetitions of each step. Moving one detent, you can see the actual number of repetitions for that step. You can change it from 1 to 16. When you push the gate button, you can control the gate time for each step. Move any encoder one detent to see the actual gate time for that step. You can change it from 1 to 100 and also to tie and slide settings. When you push the settings button, each encoder controls a different parameter. The first one is the tempo. 
moving the encoder only one detent. The display shows you the actual tempo. Moving more than one detent. Change the tempo. The next encoder controls the gate offset. You can change the gate time of all steps at once. The next encoder controls the first step from which the sequence will start playing. controls the last step controls the synchronization source. You can synchronize to the internal clock, external clock or MIDI clock. You need to push the OK button to confirm. The next encoder controls the save function. You can choose the memory location number to save your actual pattern. Then push the OK button to confirm and save your sequence. The next encoder controls the actual playing pattern. Moving the encoder only one detent shows you the actual pattern that is loaded. To change it, move the encoder more than one detent and then 
push the OK button. The last encoder controls the playing mode of the sequencer. The first mode is the normal sequence. The next mode is alternate. The next mode is random. You set it and press OK. The next mode is drunk mode. It goes forward or backwards randomly. the first step continually. trigger mode. It plays the next pitch only when there is a gate or a step on. The next is one shot mode. It plays the sequence only once. The next is MIDI control mode. You can choose from channel 1 to 16 and then press the OK button. It is used to control the Mochica from an external MIDI controller. The internal sequencer will be disabled. To enable the internal sequencer again, just set another playing mode.
Thank you.